Hey everyone, I have Heather here. I'm really excited for everyone to get to meet her and hear her story. So we'll just dive right in. Heather, do you want to go ahead and introduce yourself and like where you were before you found this opportunity? Yeah, definitely. Um, so as Carly mentioned, my name is Heather. So my name is I'm just restating my name. My name is Heather Abeda. Um, so what I was doing, I was actually working um in a in a laboratory. Um and I was just been accepted into grad school and I was kind of, you know, thinking, man, I don't want to wait until I'm kind of what what's the retirement like late 60s, I think. And, yeah. I, and they keep increasing it. So I'm like, I really don't want to wait that long. I'm like, I just want to be like uh, laying on the beach, sipping, you know, mimosas or margaritas <laughs> or something like that. Um but I just wanted time freedom. I, I helped my parents raise cattle. So I really wanted to help them focus on that and just kind of get that squared away as well. Um, so I was like, dang, I don't want to be working until I'm older. Uh, so that's when I found the opportunity. I was scrolling, um, what was it? In actually TikTok. Um, and I was like, what is this? And so I saw, um, our coach and reached out to her and I was like, there's no way it's, it sounds way too good to be true. And you know, it wasn't, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to go for it. So I, I went for it and we're here now. Yeah, that's so exciting. I love, well, the one thing that you really touched on is like waiting till you're retired. And I feel mm -hmm. like that's so huge. Like, um, for some places like retirement's like, over 70 and it's mm -hmm. like when you get to that age like are you like in the right um like health to be like traveling and like doing all the things you wanted to do for years it's like not usually and then now like I heard the statistic that some people even um when they retire, they end up having to go get like a part-time job just to make a living yes. and to survive, yes. which I think is just crazy. You know, you work all those years and it's still not enough. Um, but exactly. also I think it's really cool um, how you also like know what it's like being on a farm, always chaotic mm -hmm. and to be there whenever help is needed. Like that yes. flexible schedule is like very important. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, I think that's really cool. We have a lot in common in that aspect. Um, and now we're both here now together because yeah. we said yes to like like you said it seemed too good mm -hmm. to be true it felt like that for me as well um mm -hmm. but like you don't know unless you try and here we are so I think that's yeah. really cool um do you mind sharing you know like what this business has done for you how it's really changed your perspective on life and like what it's done for you yeah definitely so for me I I kind of I like being around positivity so but joining um joining this platform we're all about positivity and how we could bring the other person up and what ways we can help them um just to think more positive so that has really impacted me so i'm trying to get the word out um to other people like to my family to friends um some people on facebook to think more positive how how you can start your day more positive um just kind of tips and tricks on what ways the pie like Sorry, my little vacuum is getting stuck. Uh, so what ways you can, um, you know, think more positive by watching maybe like a YouTube video for like five, 10 minutes to help you um, help implement that. Yeah, I think that's really important. And that's something that most people mention is like the personal development. And, you know, through our platform, it's pushed like pretty heavy. And like, it's really great because with anything in life, we need that positivity, that personal development. Like we need to work on our mindset, no matter what, whether we have a business or we're working a job or whatever it is, like it is so important in everyday life. Um, and that was like really big for me. I never even knew what the word personal development meant <laughs> before I got started. Um, and it's been really huge, really life-changing to be able to, like transform my life in my business, but also like in my marriage and like now with our daughter, like it's been really huge. Um, and I think like when you touched on like being able to impact your friends and family, I think is really powerful. Um, but 
the fact that we don't have to like rely on our friends and family to make this business grow, but we mm-hmm. can share it with them, let them know like what it's doing for us, how it can help them. And when it comes to mindset, like that's just so important. So mm-hmm letting that overflow into our friends and family is really cool. I think that's cool that you're like doing that. Um, Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's awesome. I'm glad you shared that. I love talking about personal development because, you know, a lot of times we talk about the money and the time, Mm -hmm. like um, the personal development is behind all of it. So Mm -hmm. that's really cool. Um, So I guess my last question for you, we can keep it nice and short would Mm -hmm. be like, what would be like your biggest piece of advice for someone that has been trying to like thinking about it, wanting to get started. They're just not sure Mm -hmm. for them. What would you say to them? I would say, um, and I know somebody else kind of gave me the same suggestion, but just go all in. I was kind of stagnant. And to this day, I'm still stagnant um, a little bit, but I would say just go all in. Like, don't hold yourself back. Don't listen to your fears. um, And just, yeah, go all in and make it work. That's my words of that I would say to somebody else. Yeah. And I, I feel like that's like the number one piece of advice everyone has, um, Mm -hmm. because most of us that start this, we sit on the fence and we think it's too good to be true. And we're like, "Ah, Mm -hmm. I don't know, like, you know, and we like take that long period. I just talked to someone that was on the fence for like a year. Um, Mm -hmm. and I'm like, Holy cow, that is a really long time. Imagine Mm -hmm. what you could have done in your life in that last year through this Mm -hmm. opportunity. Um, and so for me, I waited like a good three months, which is also pretty long. Um, but I was like really skeptical. I was like, Oh, I don't know. Like, you know, Mm -hmm. um, and so how long would you say you waited? Like when you found out, were you like all in or did you wait? Um, so when I found the opportunity, I, I, <laughs> for me, I like, I'm a risk taker. So I was like, well, if it doesn't work, then uh, I don't want to basically hold myself back. Um, so I, I went, I would say I went all in, but I was a little skeptical. So I pretty much, I joined right away. Um, I, I saw the opportunity. I was like, wow, this is so cool. And yeah, I, um, I joined, I, yeah, kind of, I went, sorry, I'm trying to find my words. Um, I, I would say I went all in, but you know, I still have those days where I, for me personally, like I hold myself back, like the doubts, like I have, um, personally, um, but yeah, I would just say all in. Yeah. I think that's cool that you did dive all in and how you said you're a risk taker. I think that's really cool. And like the people on your team that's growing, like are probably the same exact way. Um, I do have people on my team that did, they just went all in right when they started Mm -hmm. talking to me. Um, but there's definitely those people that take a longer time, you know, they want to see that we're successful before Mm -hmm. they take the leap, you know? Um, and that's totally natural. Like that's just human. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy that you came on today to share your story for everyone to meet um so I just want to say thank you um and yeah we'll log off here awesome thank you so much all right bye everyone okay bye-bye